Do you use Microsoft SQL Server or do you want to use it? Would you like to be certified by Microsoft that you can use SQL Server? Wouldn't that look good on your CV or resume? I'm Philip Burton of SQL Server 101.com. While the MTA might be for you, the Microsoft Technology Associate certification is for individuals intending to build a career in data platform administration or business intelligence. You can get hired, demonstrate clear business impact and advance your skills. In this particular MTA, you'd be looking at database fundamentals and we'll be using SQL services to do this. The exam is called 98-364 to get this certification, which you can put on your CV or resume. All you have to do is pass one exam, the 98-364 exam. So let's have a look at this exam. So the skills measured are understanding core database concepts, creating database objects, manipulating data, understanding data storage and administrating a database. So what does that actually mean? Well, if you click on the download exam skills outline, you can see how it's broken down. First of all, you need to understand how data is stored in tables. So columns, fields, attributes, rows, records and tuples. Understand relational database concepts. So what is a relational database anyway? What is an RDBMS and how relations are established? And then you need to understand data manipulation language. So that is select, insert, update and delete and data definition language. Things like create, drop, alter. Then you can look at database objects themselves. For example, why do you need different data types? Well, they allow you to reduce the amount of memory that are used in a particular field and also reduce the types of values that can be stored in them. What is the purpose of tables and how do you create a table? Same for views. What are views? How to create them? And then stored procedures, functions and triggers. Then manipulating data. And this is the DML. Select, insert, update and delete. So using select queries to extract data from one table, two tables and combining data sets using intersect and union. We're looking at inserting data, how data is inserted into a database and how to use insert statements. And the same for update and delete. Also be ensuring how data and referential integrity is maintained by using transactions and primary key, foreign key constraints. Understanding data storage is the next section. So why do you need normalization? Why is it that typically you go to the third normal form? What are all of these different forms and what are their advantages and disadvantages? What are primary and foreign keys? What are the relationships between them? How can you cascade from a primary key down to a foreign key? And what are other types of constraints like unique, default, not null? and check. And then looking at indexes, clustered and non-clustered indexes. So clustered indexes, they're the ones which are created automatically when you create a primary key. Non-clustered indexes, they're automatically created when you create a unique constraint, but generally you will create them yourself. Why do you want to do that? And then finally, administrating a database comes in two versions. First of all, security. Why do you need security? What can be secured? And what are user accounts and roles? And then database backups, the various database types, full, differential and transaction log, the importance of backups and how to restore a database. Now, if you know all of that, then you could well go forward into this exam 98-364. If you want to check whether you know that, then why not go to measure up Dot com. Type in 98-364 and have a look at their official practice test and an assessment to see how you're doing. However, what if you don't know all of these? What if you want a organised way to learn them? Well, I have just launched a new course on Udemy specifically for the 98-364 certification. Ignore the price. I'll show you how to reduce that price later. So we will go through 
each and every step that we need in a better order than that list. So instead of starting with the concepts, we'll start with selecting data and then work our way into the concepts. We'll discuss normalization, foreign primary keys, data manipulation language, combining result sets and database security concepts and backups and restore. There's also quizzes, generally at the end of each section, sometimes two in a section. And then at the end, I've got my own practice test, 35 questions, so you can see how you're doing. So if this course sounds interesting, then why not join more than a quarter of a million students who have enrolled in one of my Udemy courses? And as for that price, I said forget about it. If you apply a coupon, you'll be able to get it for a lot cheaper. Now, if you are viewing this in September or October 2020, then use the coupon code YouTube202010. If you are looking later, then why not put in the word voucher and the year and the month, so 202011. Or if you're in January 2021, why not put in voucher 202101. Well, have a look at the course. There's a course link in the description to this YouTube video. And I hope to see you on this course. So hope you now know what you can get out of the 98-364 certification and exam. You can get a certification that you can put on your own CV or resume. If you are able to do all of these topics, then go straight for it. If you're not sure, then why not go to measureup.com? And if you want to learn how to do it, then why not have a look at my course? And by the end of the course, you'll be able to do code just like this and understand what it all means. If you enjoyed this video, then please click on like. And why not click on subscribe and the bell next to it? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning. I'm Philip Burton of SQL Server 101.com.